as well as the wow. have the correct character that they like to select. Yeah. And that's it, we're at in. This is round one. All hail! In second, we have Trevor. I know, I'm in second to go. And in first, congratulations to Moncat! Yeah. I think it is, it is going to be Jigglypuff versus Ganondorf going in right to it. Going to get a few of those hits right in. Looking for the oh, nice pick there. Already a 20% on Ganondorf. That's going to be a bit of an advantage, but not too much. As they've both got uh, two stalks remaining as they head through here. Return to Jigglypuff with an upkick up through that platform. Knock him off, but an easy, easy recovery for Jigglypuff. Nothing at all with all those jumps available to him. It's not going to be any problem at all. In fact, just rolling himself off the edge there, just gonna try and pull Ganondorf off, get him off his feet, get him off the game. Ooh, nice hit by right there. Jigglypuff's gonna go flying, but again, so easy to recover with that. The uh, character not gonna have any problem going back on that. Both to 60% here, fairly even as we go through this. Ganondorf up to 70% now. Then lots of, lots of hits. We haven't seen too many combos though. Obviously, Ganondorf goes flying a little bit, but easy recovery, only 87.6%. But this could get very dangerous as we head towards 100% for Ganondorf. Jigglypuff being fair. In second place, the Cosmic King! Wherever Richard went. And in first place, Misfire to the Moon! Oh, it's over here. It's over here. Yep. Do you go back in? This looks like Julie Buff's gonna take a stalk down, or uh, going to lose a stalk, I should say. Get him to. Going high though, there should be retaliation here fairly soon. Chicken Club just getting beat to pieces right here though. Ganondorf getting everything he can out of the store before he... Whoops, ah, maybe he won't go down. It looks like he's going to, but we may see him survive to get another. Is that going to be enough? No, Jigglypuff bouncing right back to the stage. That's going to be another kick. That's going to be the game. Game one goes over to Ganondorf. It's going to look all too easy. Not too many flashy moves, not too many combos. Just keeping it real simple, making the tags, tag, tag, and then right after that, go straight for those smash attacks and get them rolling. Get them moving off the map, and then uh, I didn't see too many attempts to game all Meteor. Obviously, Ganondorf, very famous for that, so it's uh, it's it's not too much been shown at this point. We haven't shown off all the moves yet. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more coming into game two. It's obviously make or break it for Jiggly. If indeed you'll stick with that character, I might be swapping up here. I don't know, you know, changing it up in the middle could always change things around, give you the edge you need. Looks like we to go with Peach this round, so we'll see a slightly different uh, playstyle there. It's going to be Possibly a little more on the defensive side. Possibly. Love we'll to see. It, it really depends on the, you know how he felt about that last matchup. Whether he felt Ganondorf was just able to roam all over him, or whether he felt like the trades were just not good enough and getting too much damage off on him. Uh, either case, he's made the selection to switch to the Peach, and that's going to be Peach versus Ganondorf, and this is going to be uh, game two going in. Game one won by Ganondorf, so he's got he's got the time to play here. He doesn't have to. He's not on pressure. Uh, he, he can let this lay for a little bit longer. He doesn't have to force this, but he is going to go right into trading. Already up to 73% for Peach. That's incredible amount of damage already brought up there. So you can see if Peach can indeed make it back and really Ganondorf just smashing it through. Not even a minute into the game and he's already got to 98%, excuse me, 96% on that one. That's just, that is a lot of damage to be breaking out. Now, trying to find Ganondorf, he hasn't taken a percent of damage yet. What is going on? Peach is going to be able to make it back and get her first bit of damage up to 35% with a nice combo there, Ariel. Oh, we're going to knock Ganondorf back off the stage, but he's going to come back very easily as we head into this. Peach, just one or two easy combos away from being absolutely thrown from the stage with no hope of return. And is that it? No, no, she's going to stay on 130%. This is unprecedented, surely. She has going to be after play. Oh, and there it is. The KO is going to go down. Peach is down one stock now. Get it all. All the advantages in the world. He's up a game. He's up a stock. He just has to play this right. He could use Meteor to sacrifice and make sure he gains that extra stock and sacrifice of his own. It's very easy for him at this point to do that. Don't want to ledge guard too much, but... Ganondorf now up to 95%. Peach looking to equalize this out. She could be. She could try to turn this right back around and get on the good side. Ganondorf, he's going to take quite a bit of damage. 120% flying wide. But he's going to make it back easily. Peach, 40% on the last stop. 
just trying to play it safe, trying to make sure those shields get up. Oh, but Ganondorf lands the grab. He goes up for the aerial. Oh, massive a hit from Peach. is going to throw him wide, but he's going to make it back onto the stage. No problem at all for him. Making the recovery look all too easy, even as we go down. Another massive smash attack, 150% for Ganondorf. Peach only on 70, 80. <laughs> It, almost 90% now. Last stock for Peach. Gotta land this final smash. She knows she's at risk of getting media. And that's game! Game for Ganondorf. That's gonna be an easy 2 0 for Ganondorf. Making it look. Uh, 2 0. Okay, who won? Ganondorf. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Since uh, you're gone, right. you have the Jackson's versus. That, that right. Wait, you guys so go for it. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in the next round. Again. Next match just uh, already won, right? Okay. So where is he going after that? Uh, Austin, I believe. Uh,